Good morning and welcome to my channel. I am Michelle Denise, a second year doctor of public health student focusing in epidemiology and biostatistics. I want to go ahead and introduce myself briefly and start today's vlog. Today is Monday and I'm currently headed to work. I do work a full-time job as a public health professional. Um, as well as being a full-time student. So I was really disappointed because I actually started this journey last week and for some odd reason, I made a mistake and deleted my videos while they were in iMovie and then I was unable to upload those vlogs. I was documenting the content um, for my day to day as I go to work and then also go to class. And I also actually documented my appointment to the doctor's office in which I had an allergy appointment just to see what I was possibly allergic to. There were instances where I would just be waking up stuffy or running eyes. I really wanted to get that looked at, but all in all, I'm not allergic to anything, um, so that is a peace of mind for myself. So the doctor actually prescribed me a nasal saline just to flush out my system when I need to. He also said that since I'm not allergic to anything, the stuffiness that I'm experiencing could be attributed to different types of fragrances and air fresheners. That's pretty much what I was introducing in last week's vlog. But once I get into the office, I'm going to be pretty much showing you guys what I do. And just a disclaimer, my day-to-day -day does change often because I do work in the field of public health. So we get different occurrences. Today I made my own green tea matcha, iced green tea matcha. So I am going to enjoy that on this commute. Not sure why there is so much traffic right now there's a lot of traffic compared to other mornings so hopefully I still get to work on time um, I wanted to let you guys know that classes actually started last week that was the first week of classes for the fall semester currently I am taking directed readings and biostatistics clinical epidemiology and environmental toxicology and that's pretty much what we will be exploring this semester. And some content will be revolved around those classes. Hey everyone, welcome back. I am currently in my office. So typically when I arrive in the morning, I start by checking my email as well as my voicemail or missed calls that I may have received. So that's what you're going to be seeing me working on right now. But before I do that, I like to listen to morning news, especially NPR. So, um, I want to catch up on anything that I've missed over the weekend, especially um, regarding Hurricane Ida.
at my schedule, calendar schedule, to see what meetings I have for the week, as well as things I need to be aware of for the morning time. So I have a meeting in about seven minutes with my team to provide them with any updates that they may have. Well, just got notification that my weekly staff meeting is now canceled. So, all right, so we previously had a drive through health fair for students that was called Back to School, Back to Health. And I have to populate a blog on our internal communications website. So the blog is basically to highlight public health efforts across the state from each county. And I've pretty much already written the blog. I just need to create collages for the blog. So I will be working on that right now. recommend this just in order to keep your immune system strong and for daily maintenance as well during my breaks i like to take a walk i get about 15 minutes and i just believe it's important to get up and move physical activity throughout the day will ensure that you have the proper blood flow and that you're not just sitting at your desk that is very much so unhealthy I am at my desk a lot more right now, especially during COVID. So I don't do a lot of outreach in the community right now. So I really do enjoy taking at least one of my 15 minute breaks to walk. I do work in a rural county, so there aren't many parks or walking trails in this area that can encourage people to get out of the office and move. However, those who do choose to walk typically leave the office and walk around the building. I often see like different groups of workers walking together. That's pretty much what I'm going to be doing on my 15 minute break. And so comment down below if you typically indulge in some form of physical activity while you're at work or do you have opportunities to actually walk are there walking areas around your job i know that at my previous job we actually had walking trails for employees and many people throughout the day were always on the trail walking during their breaks. So what I'm doing right now is just cutting through one of the medical parks and I'm just gonna wrap around. So this is another route that people usually walk down. It's just a residential road. I remember walking down this area previously and noticed that there's an alligator in the water. 
right down here. As soon as I walked past, I guess he heard me on the phone and it was a big splash. So I believe he was like closer up to the road, which was very, very scary for me. Um, but I have been informed that there's like a large alligator as well as a baby or two in this water as well. So if I actually walk that far, I'll let you guys see how it looks. So this is my work attire for today. I have on this nice blouse from Shein and these black ankle pants from Boohoo. So this is where the alligator was. It now has um, large bush protecting it. So that's probably why they don't cut it or even bother. But they may be out there. I'm not going to get too close. Because like I said, sometimes they're up close. Yeah. So I'm going to head back to the office. And I hope you enjoyed this walk with me. Hey everybody, so on my break, I just decided to go ahead and get some gas so that I'm able to safely commute back to my home. And I do not want to have to stop once I get off. So I'm just going to head back to the office. I get off in about an hour because I did submit a flex schedule, which is just an alternative schedule outside of my eight to five workday schedule. So I will come in at eight o'clock and leave at 4 p.m. by taking 30 minute lunches. We are required to take a lunch. So instead of an hour lunch, I opted to do 30 minute lunch so that I could leave earlier on certain days where I have classes. It's just to prevent the strain on me with rushing, commuting, trying to get out of the office, find parking on campus, and walk to class. So to alleviate all of that, um, having a flex schedule is the best option for me. So I did have to submit that schedule to HR, and it just goes through a routing process where they um, approve it. So that's pretty much what I've done. I'm honestly ready to get off now. Then I'm gonna stick out this hour. Once I get off, I am going to run to the grocery store to grab a few things. I need to prepare um, some dinner as well as a lunch for tomorrow and maybe the next day as well. I'm thinking about making tuna and um, maybe getting some fruit and have that for my lunch for the next um, couple of days. For dinner, I'm not sure what I'm going to make. I want some salmon pasta. That's what I'm really feeling right now. But we shall see. My mind may change once I get into the store. Or I want something like, I usually make these curry turmeric vegetables. So delish. So I'm thinking about doing that. But we'll see. Once I get to the grocery store, I'm sure I'll have my mind made up. But until then, I will talk to you guys later. Hey everybody, I am finally off work. And I'm about to head to the grocery store and then get myself together so that I can be ready for class. Today has been very gloomy. It rained really bad earlier. So it's very gloomy outside the sun. I don't believe it actually came out. I can't see much from my office. But it's going to go 
ahead and get on this road to commute and then make a quick step. I'm trying to figure out if I want to go to Trader Joe's or Publix. Anytime my friends or my mom asks which grocery store I'm at, I'm probably nine times out of 10 at Publix. Trader Joe's is a bit far from me as well as Whole Foods, but typically when I take a certain route, I'm able to get to those grocery stores on my way back home. So we are going to see. While it's on my mind, I wanna talk about finishing up the decorations in my place. I did just move about a month ago. So in the midst of trying to prepare for classes and still working every day, by the time the weekend comes around, I'm exhausted and I don't want to do anything but relax. Um, summer semester actually ended two weeks ago, so I got maybe like a two week break and then it was time to get back to it last week. So I actually attempted to finish my closet. I had things everywhere. I hung up some things, um, tried to organize many things. I now need to work on my coat closet my couch came in I put together my bed it's from Wayfair and I'm just waiting on some more pieces and I need to order additional furniture because I literally got rid of everything and just wanted to start fresh and start new um, and have a new um, color scheme going on and new decor so <clears throat> that is a work in progress I am slowly but surely trying to get that done everybody so I am home I went to the grocery store I got a couple of things and just set up my desk area again um, my place is still a work in progress I just moved but I'm still trying to make this space functional and for right now I'm just setting up my things um, because I do have class um, so just getting prepared and I'm also preparing dinner right now so that's another so thing. I am preparing um, crab cakes and stuffed scallops they're basically like um, stuffed clams but with scallops and the clam meat as well so a little bit about my diet I basically am a pescatarian I'm just trying to prepare that before I have to hop on to my class which is at 8 o'clock tonight don't ask why it's at eight o'clock tonight. It just is. Um, so I just wanna have things in order before that class. fresh broccoli. I had already purchased some broccoli for it from Trader Joe's, I believe like a week or so ago. So I just want to use that before I buy anything else. Oh, I wanted to show you all this as well. So this is another um, thing I like to get from Trader Joe's. It's the coconut water. I like to drink it as is or put these in my fruit smoothies. Sometimes I don't always like to use almond milk or oat milk in my smoothies. And this tastes really refreshing. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the fridge so that it can get nice and chilled and go ahead and get this broccoli started.
honestly just waiting for class to start. Just reviewing two of the required readings um, that I had previously read. I was just going over some notes that I made on the articles. Uh, one of them is about environmental health disparities. And the other is about research without good questions is a waste of time. Um, so I got about 10 minutes. Just trying to get ready for this class. It's only an hour long, but I'm hoping that it blows by because it's just been one of those days. My stuff. So we know next week uh, we have our presenters, right? We know who is presenting? Yes. just ended for me. I am so exhausted. I'm just ready to shower and eat. I'm going to work on my closet a little bit before I get in the bed. And I'm just thankful um, that I was able to push through with my how my morning started. But we have went over some important information, um, especially when it comes to submitting our concept paper. And the concept paper is gonna ask some questions, such as our research questions and hypotheses that we have came up with in the gap in research that we are trying to address. The professor went over that and we basically just discussed the importance of coming up with a conceptual framework, um, depending on the outcome of your research. So uh, I think I won't be looking at that until next semester, but I am thankful that he went over various conceptual frameworks and examples of each one that we could potentially use in our research specifically referring to the dissertation. So I'm going to end the vlog here and do it all over again tomorrow. I do plan on vlogging tomorrow. I have clinical epidemiology and that class will be in person. It won't be online. I wish it was online, but due to the university policy for some reason, it won't happen. So I hope everyone enjoyed this journey, enjoyed the Monday grind, the Monday journey with me. And we're gonna do it again tomorrow. So for all of you who are pushing through, working full time, going to school full time, I just want to say, stay encouraged, stay the course. It is all going to work out in your favor. Thank you.